For this question, we're looking at enzyme feedback inhibition. So this is going to be a lot like a negative feedback system, except that it's regulated by enzymes. So to accentuate this and take an example, you can consider the process by which we convert glucose into ATP. And of course, that involves many different processes involving glycolysis, as well as the electron transport chain and phosphorylative oxidation. So considering that, you can see that the conversion of glucose to ATP involves multiple steps and glycolysis itself involves multiple different enzymes and multiple pathways. So really, you start from glucose, you're going to conduct a number of breakdowns and enzymatic reactions, and then you're going to conduct the electron transport chain until you finally get to your final product of ATP. And you can imagine that each of these steps is catalyzed by some sort of protein. So what the feedback inhibition system does is say the enzyme one and two are going to be very fast, whereas enzyme three, four, and five can be very slow in this process. So if each of the enzymes worked at their maximum rate, you would get a sort of buildup of products between enzyme two and three, because enzyme three is not fast enough to keep up with the pace of enzyme two. Now, if this product has some sort of negative effect on other proteins in the body, say if it has an acid group that easily dissociates, that can cause toxicity in the body and harm to human cells. So our body, of course, wants to prevent that. So what happens is our enzymes, of course, have that very lock and key molding to them. So when they create the product after a chemical reaction, in some circumstances, these products can competitively or inhibit incompetitively the enzymes in previous steps by sort of binding not at the active site and changing the conformation of the active site and blocking the reaction. So in a way, these products that build up are going to inhibit, slow down, or completely stop some of the reactions before them. And that will allow the slower enzymes later on in a reaction to catch up and sort of work on that buildup of product in earlier steps. So here, knowing those details, the best answer choice in this question is going to be A, that enzymes are going to be competitively or incompetitively inhibited by the buildup of substrates along the process of the chemical reaction. And when they build up, they would normally cause toxicity. So this enzyme feedback inhibition system is preventing toxicity in the body through this method.